Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel OS VFX. Today I am going to show you how to design this awesome looking clock for 2018 resolution. So let's start. Enable the guides under view and go to insert shapes select oval and give height and width as 6 inches and align center align middle all right now go to insert again shapes select the stars and banners the 12 point stars just draw this one and you can see this one small uh, yellow uh, circle just drag it towards the middle it looks completely lines like this and again make this also 6.6 .6 inches and align center align middle all right i'm going to disable the guides go to view remove uh, untick the guides and create one more circle you can just press ctrl d and i'm just going to increase the size to say 6.2 inches and i'm going to give some different shape here all right and no outline i'll say send to back again align center align middle you can just increase one more maybe 6.3 will be better align again center align uh, middle all right now uh, you can see the the dial of the clock it's already uh, ready now so we'll just I'm um, going to add the needle here to design the needle go to insert shapes and select this triangle and maybe this width and I'm just going to give the height as 3 because we have uh, a 6 inches uh, dial here so I'm making it half of that one and if you want to reduce further you can just reduce it but anyway let it be with three inches and shape outline I'll just say no outline and I'm going to give some different color to this later on we will change we'll play with the colors okay again I'm just going to bring it at the center right so this is how uh, the needle looks like now now I'm going to give a uh, animation effect so that the needle should move clockwise you know for each and every point here you can see this so here the, between the gap this one the distance is 30 degrees 30 30 30 so it will come up, up to 360 degrees uh, full circle here now if I add animation which is uh, I'm going to use spin right the moment it's what's happening the moment I say spin it's spinning from its center right so there's a trick for that one how to it should actually spin from here to do that one and anyway, let me just remove this animation I'm just going to select the needle again I'll press say press ctrl D I'll make one more duplicate go to format rotate and say flip vertical and exactly bring it here okay align it properly just make sure that it's aligned properly all right now i'm going to group this both right mouse click and group it and then i'm selecting the the needle which uh, here which is the, the below i'm making it shape fill as no fill okay now let's see the how the animation looks like now I'll go to animations add animation and spin can you see it's spinning perfectly all right now okay so now if you see if again if i just it is spinning the full 360 degrees right i want to spin the needle till this particular the first uh, line itself okay which is the 30 degrees so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to double click the animation and in the effect, the amount is 360 degrees clockwise. So instead of 360, I'm making it 30 degrees and don't forget to press the enter key, enter, right? And the timings, 
i'll just say medium or fast or whatever i will just say it's fast right and say animation okay can you see exactly it is stopping here if i want i can make it more fast very fast so it will be like this okay so i'm going to add some text now to add the text go to insert text box and i'm typing the text here say this is text one okay and i'm making it uh, the font as oswald but it's up to you to decide which font you like it okay and under the home you can just see the text direction here how you want the text direction so i'm just saying uh, rotate all text to 70 degrees all right and i'm just going to bring it here but i cannot just place the text like this here so what you can do to rotate the text you can use the alt key and the right or left arrow key to rotate that one so i'm just going to use the alt and the right arrow key can you see i just press twice and is exactly it's here now so i'm just going to give some color of this box also of this circle here i can go to right mouse click format shape and fill i can just say gradient fill because i have used three stops here one stop i have used the light gray color here and then this is somewhat dark the black color and this is also black color and here the transparency some brightness we have adjusted here okay so it's you can decide okay how you want you can just increase or whatever i'm just going to reduce the size the the color of uh, the line size also i can make it more transparent line i'll just make it more transparent can you see and this one i'm making it white color okay so anyway, our text 01 is there now. So again, this also I'm making it some different color so it will be clearly visible, our needle. And shape fill, I will just say, give some light colors. All right. Maybe which color I have used, I have used basically white here. Let me just use white only then. Okay, now the first animation and the text, but the text should appear once the needle comes to this particular position. I'm going to add animation effect to the text, select the text uh, under animation, go to add animation and say wipe and double click the animation and just say from left timing is make it very fast and delay of 0.5 seconds. And say okay and say start with previous okay so the text and the the needle and the text is coming I'm going to add one more animation effect on the needle so that it should come to the the next one again to add animation again add, say spin same thing double click make it 30 degrees all right and the timing is fast and i'll just say delay of 0.5 seconds and that should happen also with previous now let's see right again so the text is coming here and the needle again the next one is again i'm going to add the text so i have to just repeat the same thing again and again but just increasing the the delay of 0 0.5 0 0.5 so it will be 0 0.5 1 1 1.5 2 kind of thing so again press ctrl d bring this here again to rotate use the alt and the right arrow key okay and just exactly place it here this will be our text 2 all right now again this one that should happen the timings delay of one second so let's see now
this one should be fast and this also should be 0.5 second delay let me just explain you the animation more in details if i am playing this one so the text is coming first and then the needle actually it should be the other way around this is a small mistake happened with me here so here the first one this one delay should be 0.5 seconds now why this because you remember we have given this delay but it has become zero the moment if i just say on click it becomes zero so you have to make sure that this delay should be done after you select how the start should be with previous after previous or with uh, uh, start so i'm just making it 0.5 so if you see this one now so that first the needle is coming and then the text okay this is perfectly all right so here the first one effect which is 30 degrees and the timing is uh, there's no delay which is on click and the timing is very fast duration is very fast the second one the text animation is starting from the left side and the delay i have given is 0.5 here okay again the needle the needle also it's 0.5 not delay because every after 0.5 seconds only the it should rotate okay the spin and this one this is the delay is of one second now so if you see here the first one here is delay of 0.5 for this text and then one if i add one more text here it will be 1.5 to 2.5 kind of thing all right so let me just add one more needle here it is somewhat tricky but if you practice this one it will be easy for you i'm just going to add the needle uh, sorry add animation on the needle so this time it should the animation needle should stop here okay add animation spin again this should happen 30 degrees timing is fast and i have used here uh, like 0.5 seconds so i'm going to make it one second now and that should happen with previous okay see the one previous i said it's become zero here i'll just say one second here all right and let's see so if i just play this one text comes text okay like that so i'm going to add the text for this one press ctrl d for the third point as usual alt and the right arrow key place exactly here and make this as three so this text will be so if you see this text is time is one delay one second delay now this one will be 1.5 second delay so if i just say okay the next one is i'm just going to add again the same add animation spin so you have to rotate you have to do this for 12 times double click make it again 30 degrees timing is fast and this one will be with previous I think the one which I have last used is how much? One second. Yeah. So this will be 1.5 seconds. Okay. Let me just play now. All right. So we have to continue the the same cycle 11 times or 12 times. So you can see this one in my previous example. So everywhere I have used this one kind of 0.5 then this one 1.5 okay so 2 2.5 like that the same thing goes with the text also here all right so i hope you can uh, do this with yourself i'm going to add some you know some uh, some more effects kind of uh, uh, some like this where we can just for example go to insert shapes and select can you see this particular in the rectangles use this one rectangle top corner rounded just draw this one maybe this size is enough and rotate we can just say rotate 90 degrees and just bring this here exactly in the middle 
and right mouse click format shape here I'm going to use a pattern fill you can just say for example I want like this pattern and how you want the format color or background color the background color let it be maybe a silver kind of thing and this one will be dark colors or whatever color you can see you can right this effect is there and moreover I'm just going to use uh, uh, this one where I'm going to create a circle insert and select the shapes which is oval and exactly again say align center align middle and make it white okay now if you see this one it will look like this okay if you want you can increase some more or it's up to you to align center align middle the next one is I'm just going to show you how to add this effect here again for that one I'm going to use insert shapes and select the rounded rectangle which is here and draw maybe this size is enough okay and you can use some gradient fill here and this one I'll just make it somewhat some blue or some dark blue color this will be like a white color just increase this one I can just delete this okay you got some effect here and if you want you can go to shadow and say some shadow effect you can use say maybe this effect kind of thing or the this effect whichever effect you can and then you just put the the text here like first january and you can put some 2018 here and i'm just going to give some strap here like i have used some strap here for that one i'm going to use the shape which is uh, say uh this one frame right i'm just going to make this and make it as a black or whichever color and just say send to back again same thing bring it here and send to back you can add some straps as well here which is very simple again shapes select this one and again gradient fill sorry you can just say pattern fill and use some different patterns and you can just change the color you like press ctrl D and bring it here okay so only thing is uh, if you need to download this slide the link is given below in the description so and uh, you can add the text which looks at the end the the watch will look something like this so that's it from me friends hope you enjoyed this uh, video and you can make your own one or you can download from the link below and see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye